Hello everyone, welcome to Ashley Lancer Show. Today I got a box. Inside of it is the Photon AnyCubic Mono X, the bigger printer. And his younger brother, his older brother, and the smallest one is the regular Photon I have. Uh, sorry the lighting is kind of crap. We can actually try to put this up. Reason I have only one hand, so I'm gonna unbox it, place it right there. We're gonna test it out, and we'll try printing a trask out of it and see how good it is, how fast it is. Uh, this one's printing the arch villain, the drow, underdark drow ones. So uh, we got a couple of those out right here. Yeah, I'm. Or I just took the TV down. Everything's going back inside uh, for it. So we got one of the bases. A lot of the other things as well. But yeah, we got the big back for one of the driders. Yeah, it's like egg sacks on the bottom of that one. But yeah. So we are going to be tasting it. I got two new resin as well. Let's see how it looks when I place it on this table. I might need another table or a bigger fucking table. I, I don't know, maybe. Well, anyhow, see you guys in a bit. So here's the bottom piece. And I am gonna peel this open. So if you do like size of my size care pairs, and this is a hell of a lot bigger than that. It's about two to three times, two and a half times bigger than the, the regular model ones for that as well. And we got stuff in here that we will look through. Uh, the case is over there, it has nothing broke on it. So here's the vat. And the build base, that's a huge base plate. Oh, they gave you a metal one. Not a plastic one, but a fucking metal one. Power cord. Power cord. Masks. Right. And tools and gloves. And that's it. So I am going to figure out how to level it up. Set it up. And uh, get start printing. So we, I got it all set up, it's printing the sample right now. Uh, the only problem I have with this is they don't have the allen key to undo four of those bolts by the build plate. So I had my own allen key to do that shit. That's only one bad thing. You're buying something for 600 some odd freaking dollars. I mean, suspect there's some more tools for it for the build plate, but I guess not. Uh, but it is printing the sample right now and hopefully it'll be a good one. Um, if you guys want me to get a tripod and just film this, like, fucking print, let me know. But other than that, uh, we'll see what it looks like in, I'll say, 3 hours and 47 seconds, uh, for that matter of fact. See you guys in a bit. So we got the sample print done. I got some big prints of a Tarask. I'm using both the, the small one and the big one. The big one for the bigger print, small for the smaller print, like the drows and stuff. And uh, tell you what the difference is and the speed quality and everything else. I got some prints already done. Um, first of all, let's get the sample. Sorry, it's kind of messy. I, I've been, you see, you know, all my stuff's going to be pretty much be inside, except for this would be my, my workstation. And I forgot where, here we go. This is a sample. It comes out of that a printer and just took like four hours. And this is the two part print from the small one I did. This one took, it has been diagonal, about six to eight hours. And this one's another six to eight hours on top of that. But in that big printer, I could print both of these probably like three or four hours instead of six, seven, or eight hours for individual ones. And these are part of the Tarask. This is two part. And this took like four hours. The lay side by side with the uh, with the thing uh, for that as well. That took like four hours. So compare, you know, size difference and speed, that whole thing in four hours, and this whole thing together be about 16 to 14 to 16 hours, I'll say. And I have more trash pieces. Uh, I think it's like a seven print because it's trash is what I'm building is really huge. And here's the head for it as well. Look at that. And let's compare it to a drow. 
if I can find one. Uh, these are all from the, the mini, mini ones. See, so yeah, I can print all these big ones in the big plate, probably this whole thing. There's one whole plate, probably in four hours. So that's the difference you get. So this is a, a drow in the small mini. I don't know if you can see it. In the mouth of the Tarask as well. Yeah, so the mouth of the Tarask is well from the drow. And, you know, it, it's a lot more. I get more out of this. This is six forty nine, and this was like 170 bucks when I bought it. Uh, this takes more resin. This takes a half a bottle uh, to, fill the, to fill the vat to the max. Half a bottle of the 1,000 milligrams. So this takes, this is a 500 milligram vat. I think this is like around 60, 70 milligram vat or 100. But I'm going to be end up buying more resin. I got to build a bigger cure box. And the cool thing about this, I don't need a vent for it. I don't smell anything when I go to a garage with the resin. That one you need a vent for. So... Yeah, so I'm going to talk more about it in a bit when I get to the webcam uh, instead of me filming. But yeah, I'll let you know the difference, what I think, and everything else I've done, been doing for three days. And uh, see, um, see what you guys think about it. Yeah, we're back in my little office. Um, so yeah, so we have those two. Uh, it is a lot faster, a lot quicker. It's a 4K model screen. And the small one is a 2K screen as well. The 2K screen, I have to actually replace the screen maybe two, three months. I don't know. I know that the 4K screen model is takes a while before you actually replace it. Hopefully that is the case. Because the screen itself, it costs around two, three hundred dollars to replace, and the actual the film for the VAT uh, costs, I believe, forty to seventy dollars, depending on which company that you use to replace the the, the film. Uh, for it because I know once I know that you know in a few months I'm going to replace the film because of wear and tear the piece of plastic underneath uh, that holds the vat and it is going to have a lot of wear and tear on it as well I know the UV light is a lot more significant I know there's a huge price point difference for it but I do play tabletop D&D till this day and I try so many times to try to roll 20 or online D&D and it never really worked as I hoped it would. And it saves a lot more money just to print it than buying the actual miniature itself. Not everyone can afford miniatures. Everyone uses a piece of paper or they make it themselves. You know, that's great and all. Or print out a little token for themselves for that as well. Or if you see it in their mind. Uh, when I first started out D&D, majority of my D&D games were theater of the mind. Now that technology and books and everything else is very affordable nowadays uh, that I'm able to get it. Uh, I would, I was about to get it last year uh, with the stimulus money, but due to the situation that we were in and getting a house, the stimulus money went to the house and the food uh, for here as well. Uh, upstairs is almost done and furnished. Downstairs is going to be another horror DLP a few more months before this house looks like a freaking house room, even though we've been here for almost a year now. Actually, it's been a year now. It's now it's May. So it's been a whole year I've been in my new house. Uh, there's still a lot of work. A cookie cutter house is not ideal per se, but, you know, if you have the time and the money uh, that you, you can use uh, to hire people to do stuff, then but it's better to get it done than later, then you don't have to worry about it in decades uh, from now. But... It's 649. I know my friend has EPAX 10. He has here and there trouble. I know I'm going to have here and there trouble with any cubic as well. Uh, the Elgu Saturn I wanted to get, but that's actually more popular than any cubic. I was pretty surprised. And any cubic and Elgu Mars are basically a very similar components inside. It's just different connectors. And uh, they, you know, I'm going to face the, face the issues. I know that the screen probably not going to be bought from uh, uh, any cubic because they overprice everything. I might end up getting the screen from the El Gumar's uh, 4K mono because it's the same size screen, just a different connector for it. And there's always an adapter for that because I did the same thing for my any cubic. Uh, the, the, my, my, any, my any cubic full time, a regular small one, uh, it has an El Gumar screen but has the adapter on it because it's a hell of a lot cheaper than buying it the actual any cubic screen that they have because they're both Sony. Uh, Sony screen, I, I believe, but price-wise, time-wise, I think it's a well-earned well investment. 
I would love to sell some of these that I print, but there's so many of them in the market, it just dilutes it. So it is very hard to just buy a merchant tier to get a certificate for that month so you can sell their items. And you have like tens of thousands of people doing the same thing on Etsy and eBay. So this is just basically for personal use and personal project, probably for the channel as well. I might just print a butt plug. It's like, here, get the butt plug. Look at it now. It's 10 inch wide for someone to rip their rectum or something. But other than that, it is, it is something cool to have. Always wanted one. I want an even bigger one. Elgu, when Elgu Jupiter comes, I might end up getting that as well. So I have a small, medium, and large. It goddamn large. Is out, then I can print out a, a full body waifu. Yes. Full body waifu of Chung Lee, Tifa, 2B, and a lot more else. That'd be a lot of fucking resin too. Uh, but Elgu, Elgu, uh, the company from Elgu, if you're seeing this, you want me to test print your Jupiter, let me know. Email me, let me know. I would love to test print it. I want to keep it too, but. Uh, and not a lot of people, since a lot of people are at home now, so it's like a lot harder to get a printer and a lot harder to get a, a resin. Resin is one thing too. Uh, resin I use is 30, 30 to $37, depending on when you get it if there's more on stock and uh like there's a lot of variables that you've got to pick different type of resin a uh, different brand of it different tensile strength of it there's one resin that's like for like dentures and stuff that, that's how strong it is and so forth as well i really do want to get the chocolate 3d maker too but don't have the funds for it but if you guys want me to want to get more technology to review stuff you know Theme last down below. You can donate to it. Subscribe as well to help out the channel. We also have a Patreon as well. Also trying to build a home server uh, so I can get Valheim in Minecraft and I can put through that through the Patreon as well. But other than that, uh, it is a good investment. I'm going to have an actual Coloss, bigger than a Colossal Tarrasque for that I'm never probably going to play in the game, but it's cool to have up on the shelf. Uh, this is going to be a DD and d room that I'm trying to convert slowly and maturely but when that time comes that time will come well yes yeah, so price wise it's a bit pricey uh it's a lot more cheaper than the epax 10 but the epax 10 is a lot more durable and well made than uh than the any cubic in elgu mars but it is something for me to print have fun for dnd games and pie print some anime miniatures i want to get some paintings done just just don't have the equipment for it right now uh we have two broken webcams and we need like a high quality webcam or a camcorder and the only camcorder i have is the sony one that i had for about four or five years the quality is not as good as it used to be back then uh what's considered passable as well well if you guys like this video subscribe like and share i hope you guys like the review Thank you guys for watching. Take care. Have a nice day. See you guys. Bye.